ChatGPT is not working. Many users are complaining that ChatGPT is not working for them and this is quite understandable. ChatGPT is a new service provided by OpenAI and OpenAI needs some time to improve their product and make it available for all of its users. But some of these problems can be fixed and this video is going to teach you how to fix them. But before we move ahead to the fixes, I would like to remind you to like this video and subscribe to our channel. You can also hit the bell icon to receive regular updates from here. Edureka also provides a lot of training programs and certification courses on their website. So if you are interested in them, do check out the links given in the description. Now the first problem that we are going to see is ChatGPT is at capacity right now. This is a common issue that many people face and if you are getting this error, know that there is nothing that can be done from your side. This error means that a lot of people are using ChatGPT at the moment and the servers are full. If you are facing this issue, all you can do is wait for some time and then refresh your browser hoping that someone has finished using ChatGPT and that you can access it yourself. Now if you are facing some other kind of issue then I will show you 4 solutions in this video that might just help you access ChatGPT yourself. The first solution is to clear your cache and data. To do this first you can head over to openai.com and then if you see the top bar you can see 3 dots at the top right corner. Click on that and navigate to settings. Once you are inside settings, you can go to privacy and security and inside that menu you can find an option called cookies and other site data. Click on that and scroll down a bit. Once you scroll down you can see an option called see all site data and permissions. Click on that and once you are inside that, go ahead to the search bar and type open AI. While typing OpenAI, you can see an option called as OpenAI being shown below. You should delete all the data inside this. And once it is deleted, go back to OpenAI and refresh the page. This solution is especially useful for first time users who haven't really used ChatGPT before. The second solution that I'm going to show you today is disabling all your extensions. To do this, check the top bar for the add-ons icon. If you click on that, you will be able to see a list of extensions that are active right now and at the very end of that menu, you can see the option called as manage extensions. Start by clicking on that and once it is done, Chrome will open up a new tab for you. This tab will have a list of all your extensions. Go ahead and disable all the extensions over here right now. Once you are done disabling your extensions, go back to the OpenAI tab and click on refresh. This solution is effective if your extensions were the ones that were causing the problem. Third solution is installing a VPN. This solution is effective if the problem is caused by your internet service provider or your location. Installing a VPN is very simple. Just open a new tab and then type Chrome Web Store. Once that is done, click on the first link in your search results. It will bring you to a website like this. Now once you type VPN and click on enter, Chrome Web Store will give you a list of VPN extensions that you can install in your browser. Let me show you how you can do this by installing Touch VPN over here. Now click on Touch VPN and once the page loads, you can see a button called Add to Chrome. Click on that and then click on Add Extension. This will install Touch VPN as an extension in your browser. To use the VPN, just click on the Add-ons button and then search for Touch VPN. Click on Touch VPN and then click on Connect. Once you do that, the VPN will connect and you might just be able to use ChatGPT right now. Now if all these solutions don't really work out for you, then I think it's best that you install a new browser. And that is our fourth solution. You can find a lot of good alternatives to your browser these days. Some examples of this is the Firefox browser, the Opera browser and also the new Brave browser. I personally suggest Brave because it has a lot of security features and it comes with a built-in VPN. This means that you don't really need to install the VPN yourself. So that is it for the 4 solutions in this video and I hope that your issue is solved. If you are still facing an issue, 
then do mention it in the comments down below and we will get back to you as soon as possible. Until then, happy learning.